guys, it's Big Banks. We're back again for another video. Today, we are in an incredible abandoned modern mansion, and this is just the master bedroom, which I will show you more in detail throughout the video. I'm gonna actually start you out in the walkway here in just a moment, but a little bit about the place. This place was built in 2003. It was built for a very wealthy family, and the lady actually was going to run for mayor of this city, but got in some legal trouble with tax fraud and all that stuff, which caused her to actually lose this house. Now, this place was abandoned around 2015, and yeah, it's insane. I don't know if you can see the ceiling right here, but it is like an iridescent, uh, multicolored, uh, I don't know, I don't even know how to explain it. I've never seen anything like this. It's very modern because it was only built in 2003. So, this place is about 7,000 square feet. I believe it has four bedrooms and eight bathrooms, as well as a barn guest house, and a whole lot of land, including a giant pool outside, which I'm gonna show you throughout this entire video. Um, shout out to Abandon Nashville for bringing me here, and you'll see him in the video a little bit. But without further ado, hit that subscribe button if you're new, and let's get right into this video. Hey guys, so walking in through the front door, which by the way, is gold. You get an incredible grand staircase. And what's even cooler about this, is whoever got this built was like super extravagant with their colors. As you could tell by the intro in the main master bedroom, most of the ceilings are gonna have some kind of crazy color like this. But just get a look at how beautiful this staircase is. That's so beautiful. I mean, this looks like the hype house for all my TikTokers. <laughs> that is just... Wow. Even look at that, that little skylight you get up there. It's all gold. Now we're not gonna go upstairs yet. We're gonna walk through the whole bottom floor first, kind of give you a look of everything. But this is just what you see when you first walk in. You can tell this was not cheap. So. There is quite a bit of stuff left behind, but it has been hit by some vandals and scrappers and things like that. But you get this beautiful entryway. To some couches left behind. Like how is this abandoned? How can you just leave something like this. This is just unlike anything I've seen before. Like I said, I mean, it's much more modern, but it's so grand. These couches are pretty, uh, pretty plush. Not really my style with the floral, but I mean, they're soft. So I want to see some of the stuff that's kind of like left in here. This says guest. Oh, this is a napkin. You know you're rich when you have guest napkins. <laughs> and they're kind of laying everywhere. But we got marble flooring throughout all of this. And I'm gonna take you down this way first. So one thing I noticed right here real quick, there's a pillar that's laying here. It looks like it was supposed to go right there. Maybe the vandal knocked it out or something. Also, before we go in there, this leads you right out into the pool with these giant pillars outside, which I'll take you out there here in a little bit. 
But yeah, let's walk through this interior first. This is what I assume to be a dining room of some sort. And it would have been a chandelier here. It looks like it got taken down or knocked down or something. Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking dining room. Something like that. And there's even detail on these walls. So elaborate. And you get kind of a little peek into there. Which is straight from here across the hall. you get this room, which might have been formal dining. We have a, looks like a bar here. A little shaker cup for your alcohol. Yeah, and then some, where you would stack your wine. Like uh, these people were so elaborate. Oh, there's a dead bird in there. But yeah, I believe this might have been formal dining or something, or maybe just a hangout area. It looks like maybe a TV went in here, so maybe this would have been entertainment. Yeah, entertainment room. Straight down this hallway. Leads us into this beautiful kitchen. It's kind of a bit dated, honestly. But there's in a lot of detail. Backsplash, kind of like a pink salmon wall. Oh, wow. Yeah, looks straight up. It's more like multicolored iridescent on the ceiling in here. Surprised not all of this is broke because has a lot of vandals have come through here. Now guys, we are a little bit on edge. There's a construction going right on, literally right back there. So we have to be careful. Guys, before you say they're not rotted, they're not real. Fake fruits, it's a rich people thing. Get this beautiful these arched windows. They get a pretty nice view, again, of that pool outside. And I'm noticing kind of the stuff still left up at the top of these. And on that side too. So right past here, is a pantry area, washer and dryer room. Washer and dryer hookup right here. Yeah, not a lot left in here, but very fancy. Even this little thing. Oh, that's an ironing board. Okay. That's cool. <laughs> Glad I didn't open that. It probably would have just swung out. And then we have the pantry, which is still full of foods. Fruit Loops, Swiss Miss, Nestle, Cocoa Puffs, chips. Wow. 
that's this side of the house which there is a barn right there so I'll take you there last as well as the outside and then we'll go straight down here to this side of the house all right so coming down this way we have the master bedroom Jeremy shout What's out up, to guys? you for this place man yeah 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 <laughs> Dude, I've looked at this room like three times now and it blows my mind every time. The only thing that bothers me is look, it's not centered. And that's like built into the wall. Oh my Lord, that is, that is crazy. I have never seen anything like that. So this is the master, obviously. The bed, I think should be a little higher, but like I said, vandals have kind of came in here, trashed it a bit. You can only imagine the rest of the furniture that would have been in here. This would have been so pretty. Even the walls are like a silver. It just like changes color when you move the camera. I just gotta keep looking at this guy, this is wild. A very fancy blue comforter. straight on into the master bathroom. And as you can see, all the belongings are left in here. All of it. No way, dude. Guys, that's real gold. That's real gold flakes. That's crazy. Oh my gosh. Never have I seen anything like this in an abandoned place. And not only that, there's two of them here. Just gold flakes in these. And look at this bath. Jetted, deep, the gold accents, even the, the walls in here. It's like that blue, but with like a gold crackle thing going on. That's so crazy. It's amazing. So this is where the water actually would have ran out through this gold brass thing. Wow. Check out this shower, guys. That is quite large. Then leads into the closet, big walk-in closet, full of clothes, everything left behind. This is probably some expensive stuff too. I think this stuff ain't cheap. Oh man, the shoes. I wonder if she had any red bottoms. I doubt it, but it would be pretty cool to find that. Not really any 
design here that I can see. Hmm. Nothing really up there either. Okay. Not only that, we get another closet over here. A little bit smaller. More fancy clothes. No way. Now these watches are expensive. That is, <laughs> that's an expensive watch right there. Wow. Nothing in it though. Coming out of the master bedroom, we get this beautiful golden place to put like statues or some type of decor. And then to my right, we have another bathroom. A little more plain, just a half bath. Silver walls though, which is cool. And then this brings us into another bedroom. This one's pretty nice as well. Bit more trashed, but a lot of stuff in here. A lot of knickknacks. Look at that bed, that's fancy. That's really fancy. So this room had like more of a gold theme to it. The walls are kind of gold and it's getting really bad decayed in here. Black mold, paint's peeling, there's wasps. It's just getting bad. But just like the little things left in here, just pretty wild. Like look how big this bulldog, like stuffed animal is, it's huge. Then we have like a box full of like little knickknacks and things. But there are wasps in here, so I'm trying not to walk around them a little bit. Don't want to get stung. So that's two bedrooms we've seen so far. Got a little bit of an entryway or an out, outdoor area right here, a little patio. Got some notes, there's a lot of gold throughout the house. A lot of gold accents. And we have another bathroom here. It's pretty nice as well. Look at that sink. That's got a pretty big closet as well. Wow, okay. Not a jetted tub, but a pretty decent sized one. Okay. So we've got a one, two, three, four car garage. I think they're having a garage sale. Hmm. Like stuff set up over there for a garage sale. Yeah. Time to go up this beautiful staircase. Like I legit feel like I'm in the high pass. Cause like if you guys watch TikTok at all, some of my younger viewers, you know that this has a lot of similarities. My gosh. Beautiful. I gotta decide which side to start. Should we start left or should we start right? So we're gonna start left over here to our first bedroom, which is a light blue color. So maybe it been like a boy's room or something up in here, which also has its own private balcony, which is pretty sweet. Looks like somebody mowed this place recently. There's still so many wasps in here. Guys, I'm trying not to get so tired. It was a long walk out here and it's very hot right now. 
It's almost 100 degrees. Open this door, we get another bathroom. So we're up to three bedrooms and I believe four bathrooms. Jetted in this one. With a double vanity, hmm, different. For being like maybe a guest room or something. I wouldn't see it being a master. Master's definitely downstairs. Which this is the closet right here. And this may have been a girl's room. A lot of pink stuff in the closet. Oh wow, this closet's huge. Wow. Big closet. Hey, look at that gold ceiling, guys. It's like a cage right here for some reason. I wonder if they had like an animal upstairs. Didn't want it to jump down or something. All their clothes are just chilling in here. All these little crawl space. Not gonna go in there, I'm too big for this stuff. <laughs> I'm uh, six seven. I would not fit very well in there. So keep walking down, and we get to this secondary staircase, which actually leads down into the kitchen. The pantry is right there, so I showed you guys earlier. So this staircase actually comes right back up here to the top. But I did not notice this chandelier here. That is beautiful. Gold intact. If that's just right here, I can only imagine the main ones that were in the house. All right, time to walk down the other side. Now just get a look at this detail again. I would just be chilling up here all the time. So we come down here and we get one big bedroom. So yeah, four bedrooms. Got that part right. A lot of clothes and stuff. And I mean a lot. And there's a lot of pug stuff in here, so they must have loved pugs. Looks like they were probably selling off everything and just stopped midway. A lot of stuffed animals just bagged up. Even a bird cage must have a pet bird, pet little parakeet or something. Even this bathroom is really nice. So I didn't, I haven't seen eight bathrooms yet, but I've seen about five. Five or six. They're all pretty nice. And here's this walk in closet, which goes pretty far back. Leopard print, cheetah print, fancy stuff. And back there is the water heater with another bird cage. Like a bigger bird cage. Must have been just storage back here. All right guys, so we just explored the entire inside. Now let's take you to the outside where this place looks crazy. It is, like I said, it's one of the best mansions I've ever seen and we're ever gonna see on this channel as far as being in America. Wow, I'm in love with this place. I wish I could buy it and make it my own, but you know, <laughs> wow. All right guys, so I wanna show you guys outside front and the back you guys need to see the pool and there's an entire guest house that we're going to go take you here in just a little bit so anyways let's keep exploring this place hope you guys are enjoying this video if you are remember smash that subscribe button let's keep going so this has this has to be like a courtyard type of thing yeah 
I wonder if this is where they like train horses or something like that. It could be. I think I see little feeders over there yeah. or something. I don't want to walk in there because there's so many kids out here. Oh yeah. And then we got the stables. I've never seen stables before at a place, so this is my first time. Yeah, first for me too. I saw them a lot growing up in Kentucky, but never in an abandoned. Yeah, never abandoned. Yeah, this, is, this is bird dog today. Bird heaven, bro. <laughs> That's our security right there. <laughs> I wish they had horses, chickens, goats, pigs. Cause look at all this out here would have been like other type of animals, I think. So much land out here, so many like different fenced in areas. There's also uh, animal carriers right over there, so they must have had dogs. I mean, if you notice, they like pugs. Oh, did they? A lot of pugs inside, yeah, pug like pictures. And oh, I didn't notice that. Yeah, there are pugs everywhere. <laughs> I'm actually uh, I'm surprised that uh... Texas Longhorn fans. Oh yeah. Look at that. So this is the guest house. Yeah, walking right into the guest house. Which I don't get why there's a guest house in the barn. I feel like it'd be smelly. Have a guest house here, wouldn't it? Yeah. You smell the horse. You smell the cows or whatever they had. It's super dirty in here. Everything's still here though. They have been ransacked for like, dude, it's just so crazy that like the TV and the VCR and stuff like that, the Comcast, it's all still here. How old is that TV? That's an, yeah, that's an way older TV. Yeah, it is. But also, these were kind of older people too. Because I found a license in there, I didn't show it because I don't want to give out the name or anything, but he was definitely an older guy. So this is their way into the backyard. We see we got this pretty elaborate gate. It's got like these blue stained glass pieces on it. And it's very overgrown. Let's see how amazing this actually looks. My gosh, <laughs> this is amazing, guys. And we got a super deep pool. We're thinking 12 feet on this. That's pretty deep. I ain't about to get down there and test it. But look at this place. Just your modern farmhouse mansion out here. Beautiful guys. One day I hope to have a pool like this. How can something like this just be left behind? And then right behind us, there's a chicken coop. So guys, I told you these guys were farmers. I knew they had chickens somewhere. It's kind of a small chicken coop, but there were definitely chickens here. And then this might have been like a little gazebo area. It might have had a, it looks like it had pillars on it at once. And then you get a whole view of the house right here. That is nuts. So guys, this is the front of the mansion. After you come up this long driveway and it turns, it has this little circle driveway here. And then you get the front of the this beautiful place right here. Two balconies on each side. And yeah, this is amazing. I feel like this would have had a cool emblem on the front. But it doesn't look like anything was ever there. Still such a really cool place, guys. 
All right, guys, well, that is the end of today's video. We are going to get out of here. This was an absolutely stunning mansion that we just explored. Shout out to my guy, Abandoned Nashville here. Check him out. All of his stuff will be down in the description. And yeah, man, I appreciate you showing me this place. Yeah, dude, absolutely. It's amazing. So many different colors, so detailed and very unique. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that subscribe button down below, leave a like, and turn, the, turn on the post notification bell. We post every single week. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Big Banks out.